Hi, I'm Trisha Driver, founder of A New Normal, and we are all about creating impact for our clients through inclusion. And I thought that given as today is our third midweeker, it was probably time I explained a little bit more about what we actually mean by that. So what do we mean when we say that we create impact through inclusion? And I guess there's two key things here. So the first thing is around what's the business case for inclusion? And the second thing is how do we actually deliver that impact? So if you look at the business case, there's been a number of really prestigious organisations that have done a lot of research into this topic. So the likes of the Harvard Business Review, McKinsey's and Deloitte have done a lot of research. To summarise all of that research, there's two key things that have come out of it. The first thing is that organisations which display a genuinely inclusive culture are more likely to have staff who are more engaged, who are more productive and who stick around for longer. And the second conclusion is that where those organisations display those traits around an inclusive culture, they're more likely to attract a really rich and diverse pool of talent. And what that gives you is a real differentiator in terms of the profit of that organisation. So it's a fairly compelling business case, whichever way you look at it, whether it's from the perspective of the shareholders who see the benefits of those profits, or whether it's from the perspective of the individuals working there who feel like they're able to come to work and just genuinely be their real selves every day. The business case is strong. So how do we work with our clients to create that impact? Well, we have experience across the end-to-end -end talent management life cycle and also across the inclusion landscape. So we work with each of our clients in different ways because they're all different in their needs. So in some instances, we'll be looking at the employer value proposition and how a company positions itself externally. Sometimes it will be about tapping into different talent pools that an organisation hasn't worked with before, whether that's a refugee internship or whether that's a returner programme. And in some instances, it's around how do organisations just unbias themselves generally and more broadly to really achieve the benefits of that truly inclusive organisation. And we work across a number of different sectors, but I guess the one thing that ties all of our clients together, and actually, which is a belief that's shared by us, is that inclusion isn't a nice to have or something additional. It is a genuine strategic enabler of a business. And I guess that's really what we mean when we say we create impact through inclusion.